All right, guys, Milner Trapper here. I told you I was gonna do another video about one of the traps I use to catch small game. I like this trap. I like this trap better than the double door trap. I like the dimensions. I like the, the platform, the way you set it up, put bait in. I like the door. This matter of fact, this, this trap is the, the dimensions I use for my rabbit traps. I mean, it, you know, so, I, I, you know, that I make out of wood, but I really like this, this trap. Um, you know, it's better. I can take this and ram it up in a hole, cover this thing up with leaves. Got one door in, it's like a cubby hole. Um, I really, really like this trap better. Uh, this is only for small game. Uh, this is it right here. This is it right here. The small trap. I like the trigger uh, mechanism. I like the platform, the platform that's in there. I like the way the trigger works. Um, I like the spring on the door that does like, you know, when it closes. It also has this little handy little hook right here uh, for you to hook it up on the top if you're, you know, you're trying to mess with it and it, you know, you don't want it to go off. Uh, I think whoever made this trap put a lot of, you know, a lot of thought into to trapping. I really don't like it a lot. And um, the dimensions for this is uh, seven and a half, uh, seven and a quarter tall, seven and a half wide, I believe. It's two foot long. Um, it's really handy, small trap. You can, you can literally stack these up, guys, and go to town putting traps out they're they're not heavy they're light but they're but but you can but but here's the thing I, I i want you to think about there's literally not much to this trap if you spend a little money go out and get your little heavier gauge wire than your chicken wire and stuff like that you can make this trap right here easy uh, and actually there's a, another trigger system that's even a little better, but you can make this. You don't have to go out and spend the big bucks on traps. You can make this. And when you buying rolls of wire, you're buying wire and stuff and you're, you're going to get more out of it. Um, so don't, 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 don't get don't get caught up in, in how much traps cost to get you one. Now I recommend everybody buy a trap. If you got a trap you want to, you you think you like, you buy that trap. You will get ideas from those traps and you'll start making your own traps ju just as good, if not better, because you'll, you'll be able to work with it tediously to make sure the performance is right. Let me show you how this works. See this little lever right here? That's what holds the door. And you see it kicking up over here? It's fit, that slides down into the slot right here. See that? And that's what holds the door. But this door opens, you push this in, you pull this up. Well, you see how this goes, this, this part right here, this part right here goes underneath, just like that. I'm holding the door up right now. Now look, I take this, hard to do that when you're on the other side of it. You take that and you slide the, the, the platform rod up in the hole like so. Now, that thing is set. You put your bait in right right back here. You can, if you put it up in a, in a hole, a cubby hole, you can mount you some bait right there in the back, on this back. It, but if you, if you set it out and just cover it up just a little bit, you can put you some bait right here. You can literally take this and take some tie wire. See, I'll, you take your dip can, drill some holes in it, take some tie wire, mount that jerker to this cage so it can't just pull it out real quick or, or, or anything like that. I like this system better because the double door system sometimes gets, you know, trips and scares them and they, they get halfway out the door on the other, other side. This they caught when they go in it. They ain't getting out of this one. And how it works is this, this, watch this, watch the, watch the, uh, all right, I'm in the frame. You can see, watch it pull, watch that easy, guys. 
easy trap. I really like this small game trap. To me, the perfect size for small game. I have, I have with this trap right here, I, I have trapped just about anything you can think of. I love this trap. I've, I, I make traps like this. Uh, I don't sell them, so don't be hitting me up. I might one day when I retire, but these traps to me are better than the double door. It's my opinion, guys. I have other size traps I'll probably do some videos on, but I'll do this trap just like I did the double door trap and I'll set it out and I'll bait it up and I'll put it out and trap something with it and I'll do a video on what I trapped. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some new things. <clears throat> I used to really be into farming and uh, and and raising uh, compost worms, uh, you know, worm castings and, and red wigglers and so forth and so on. I'm just gonna get back into that. I'm gonna get back into growing stuff and uh, I'm gonna do videos on those. And maybe one day, maybe I'll do a business out of the worms and sell it for fish bait and uh, maybe start doing some compost and selling compost and, and, and worm castings. And y'all can go with me on this adventure. So, uh, I really appreciate you watching the video. I hope that you go out and purchase you one of these traps. They're not very expensive. Matter of fact, I, if you look hard enough, you can find this trap at yard sales. You can find this trap at, at uh, flea markets. You can find this trap at uh, there's an animal auction in our town where you can go buy animals and, and for your farm. And they have an outside auction and every once in a while, some of these come through and I buy them up. I don't care if they're messed up, I can fix them. So, as long as they're not trying to get me. As long as they go for cheap. But, uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, I recommend you go out and get you a trap. Learn the dimensions of it. Learn how it works. Learn the mechanisms. Learn how a trap works. That way you can make your own traps. I prefer using box wood traps for for uh rabbits because i just do i mean i trap more rabbits with the wood than i do with the cage plain and simple so until next time guys i'll be doing another video on to on this of, of, of what i caught in it and uh i appreciate you watching and uh thank you for all the support you've been giving me and leave a comment i'll com comment back you know uh the best of my ability but I always remember guys be prepared for what gets in your trap. Thank you.